Hey guys, Donnie with Standing Goats Rescue. I was supposed to have done this yesterday, I and mean, we didn't get finished up in time. I didn't make it home until after dark, well after dark. Trying to get called up. When I was sick, we got really behind on the projects we were working on, and we had to get them completed. Oh, they're not finished yet, but I, over here in Crestview, Florida, I had to bring Kim over to get another scan and a nerve conductive uh, study done. But I, I've got to get this out. This is really important. It's a prayer request. And it's, um, it's, it's from one of our own. It's his cousin. And the email I received, uh, his cousin's name is Greg Lazarin. And uh, Greg had a massive stroke. And right now, he's laid up. Um, he's in a coma. And I'd like to ask that you guys come together and let's call out to the Father and get him to intervene and bring Greg home, wake him up from that coma and, and not only get him out of the hospital and back home, but let's pray that God will heal his brain, put his brain back together because the stroke does serious damage uh, to your brain. And you can live with substantial damage and never have any problems because other areas of your brain can take over. But it's not going to happen without our Creator, Yahweh, God Himself, stepping in and laying hands on this man. So let's pray that um, that Greg Lazarus will come out of that coma and get back home amongst his family and friends, all of his loved ones. You know, they, they depend on him. No matter what position you have in your family, no matter what role that you play, you're a substantial part of that family. One person goes down, the entire family feels the impact of it. And when it's something that has to do with a, a serious health issue and, and a, a stroke is nothing to play with, that's, that's about as bad as it gets. Um, so let's pray that God intervenes, steps in and uh, heals Greg. Let's get him back home with his family and and not only healed but better than he's ever been let's pray that his health increase will be tenfold that he'll be filled with abundance of the father the holy spirit and of course christ jesus yeshua our lord and savior and we just we got to get him home and not i've got several family members that that dealt with stroke and um, it's serious um it's a it's a serious thing, but no matter how bad, no matter what the doctors say, you know, just learn not to to receive what a doctor tells you. He practices. Christ Jesus, Yeshua, was a healer. He wasn't a doctor that practiced. He was a healer. And he's the one that can step in walk into that room where Greg's at in the spirit realm or in the physical realm however he does it he's the one that can walk in lay hands on that man and he'll get up and leave the hospital running and uh, that's what we want let's get him home uh, Greg Lazarin and again he's had a massive stroke he's in a coma we need to get him out of that coma and get him back home in the embracement of his family uh, he's got an important role to play and when he's down like he is now not only his family but his friends and those that know him you know everybody gets impacted and it's you know this is a cousin to one of our own on Sandy Goods Rescue and with it being his cousin it still affects us it affects me you know this is one of our people it's his family and it, it should bother you so please let's let's pray for him it's getting back home. That's a horrible place to be, and we just, it's not a place for any of us. You know, when you, when you step into the hospital, and so many times we don't have a choice. Um, we get dealt a hard hand here in life, and, and God has blessed many doctors to be in your path. And, you, you know, they, they take a load off of him. They can take care of the minor things, broken bones, um, heart surgeries. I know it's heart surgery is a big thing, but it's minor. All of this is minor to the Father. But everything the doctors can do 
on his behalf, that's less that he has to intervene. But situations like this with Greg, uh, we need God to get in the middle of this one. You know, this doctors, when you get into a coma, they stand back, they monitor your vitals, and they watch you. And that's about the extent of it. And he can be at his home amongst his family, and they could watch him. But we don't want that. We want him healed, where he can be home with his family, and they can watch him, but he'll be able to watch them back. You know, he's, he's got to get back home. Get back home and fill the position that God created him to fill and fulfill the will that God has placed in his life and in his heart. So let's just let's reach out and pray for that. And I ask that you all come into agreement with me. That we just we, we focus our, our prayer on Greg Lazarin and on his family. That they receive that inner peace and that knowing that he's in the hands of the Father. And whatever the Father's will may be, that it be fulfilled. If the Father... Uh, knows that Greg has finished his work and it's going to bring him home. You know, there's nothing we can do about it once God makes his mind up. But we can ask him to come into the hearts and the, the minds and spirits of his family, his friends, his loved ones, and impact them with, with joy, abundant joy, knowing that Greg is exactly where he's supposed to be. But I don't believe laying in a coma in a hospital is that place. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. And for those of you that are going to reach out and pray for this family and for Greg, thank you. I absolutely mean that with the fullness of my heart. Thank you so very much. Uh, if all goes well, we'll be doing a, a live stream tonight or tomorrow night. i got a couple of guests we're going to be trying to bring on. And I'm hoping we get some updates on, uh, on Greg throughout the week or, or the next week, however long it takes. You know, um, God's clock doesn't sync with ours. We may think he's late at times, but he is always on time. Just trust and know that he's got it. It's going to work out. It always does. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out the way that we want it to. But I guarantee you, none of us know truly what's right when it comes to things like this but the father does and he's going to do what's right and what's in our best interest whether we agree or not but i just i'd, I'd love to see him come home well guys thank you so very much um i'm having to do this from the car i'm in crestview florida i'm not exactly sure where i'm at we're at a neurologist kim has to have another scan and a nerve conductive study done today and she's inside, and I figured I'd go ahead and get this up. I'm going to try to upload it through my phone. Hopefully, uh, it'll go fairly quick, and I can do it and go ahead and get it on uh, on the channel. And hopefully, we get some of these transients that are passing through, and they just, they'll just they click on a video and move on. Um, maybe we can get some of them to, to, to come together in prayer also for him. You know, power and prayer comes in numbers. Where three or more gathered in my name, I am there. You know, that, that's words of Christ. And what if we got 300 or 3,000? You know, that's the presence of God in abundance. And that's what we need. But y'all have a wonderful day. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. I will be seeing you soon. But until that time, you guys, always be safe.